Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. If you guys follow my channel closely, you'll know that I normally do biking videos on this channel. But I recently just visited Winter Place Ski Area up in West Virginia, so I decided it would be a good idea to make a review on it. We're going to be reviewing this resort in three different categories, which the first one is going to be the mountain stats. Second is going to be the best run for each skill level and third is going to be just other info about the mountain such as food and lodging so let's get into this one hope you guys enjoy all right so first category up is mountain stats this mountain boasts 603 feet of vertical with 27 trails and nine lifts is 3600 feet of elevation at the top they have 90 acres of skiing including night skiing till nine o'clock at night in addition to that they also have around 100 inches of snowfall a year which is not bad considering their location. Next category up is the best skiing and riding for each skill level. So for beginner, my favorite run is Compromise, which is off the top, and then to Meadows, and then Last Chance, Last Run. And that is so much fun because it's the longest run at 1.25 miles. It also has a lot of side hits like jumps and other things for more advanced skiing and riding. Now on to intermediate skiing, which I think is Winter Place's strongest point. My favorite run is Snowball. It is so much fun. They didn't groom it this time I went, so it was really moguled up. I had a lot of fun ripping down it. Even though it was a little bit icy, if you stayed really far to the right side, you could catch some powder, and it was just so much fun. I highly recommend checking out Snowball. Although it is a little steep at the top, it is so much fun. Now for the category you guys have all been waiting for. What is my favorite advanced run at Winter Place? And the answer is easy for me, nose dive. The reason for this is because when it was groomed in the morning, I was going so fast in this thing, just carving back and forth. I had so much fun. I probably lapped it like 15 times, to be honest. I would just send it right back up to chair three, and it takes you right to the top of nose dive, and then also plunge, which is right next to nose dive. But in my opinion, nose dive and turkey shoot are the only blacks that are actually kind of steep there and turkey shoot pretty much never opens anymore and a lot of people who go there often told me that it hasn't opened in like four years so hopefully it will open up soon but as of right now nosedive is my favorite run at winter place all right so our last category is other mountain info this is going to include food lodging and rentals so i'm going to go over food first which winter place has two places to eat right on site which is the lodge at the bottom which is where i ate and then they also have the mickey's mountain cafe which is right at the bottom it's about maybe 100 yards from the lodge and so although i didn't eat from mickey's mountain cafe a lot of people that i was around said that it was pretty good so i can't really say for certain that it was good but from what i've heard it is and then i did eat at the lodge Although the food was reasonably priced, the lines did get pretty long because there was a lot of people there the day I went, but the food was good and well priced. So although I did not stay in any lodge while I was at Winter Place because I live relatively close to it, I do know that they have a lot of different lodging options from cabins to condos to hotels. You'll find any sort of lodging at Winter Place Resort. Winter Place Ski Area also offers rentals. So it's $39 a day for an adult and $28 for a junior. They also offer lessons for beginner skiers and riders. And although I did not take one, obviously, I did see that people were taking them that day I was there and it looked to be pretty good. So yeah, that seems like a good option if you're up at Winter Place and you need rentals or lessons. All right, so guys, that is gonna wrap up my Winter Place Ski Area review. It is great for experts and beginners alike. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.